So this is from question one, and this is about uh, bending moments. Uh, and so you've got four typical loading conditions here that you might be asked about or, or might see in some other way on the exam. You've got a uniform distributed load with supports at each end. You've got a uniform distributed load on a cantilever. You've got a point load mid-span supported at each end. And you've got a point load at the end of a long cantilever. So I would feel the most safe standing on this one where the weight is distributed and we've got support at each end. I'd feel the least safe standing on this one where you've got a huge load uh, coming down right at the end. And it's only supported right here. So these diagrams are all basically traced over these uh, free body diagrams, which you might be familiar with. And they, they provide basically what the loading is, what the max moment is, what the shear is. And then they provide all the formulas for easily solving this. So instead of having to find the area under this uh, semicircle right here, you can just go straight to the formula. And again, you don't have to memorize these things, but you should have a basic understanding that a uh, uniform distributed load will have a lower bending moment than a point load. If we want to look at that mathematically, I put this in the answer, but here's what those formulas are. So if we see the max moment for the uniform distributed load, it's WL squared over eight, whereas the uh, max moment for the cantilever with the point at the end is just PL. So just looking at the formulas, you can see this one's gonna be the lowest because it's got the greatest denominator. Uh, and this one really has no denominator. It's basically the load times the weight. Another thing to notice about this question um, that you might see on the exam is that the weight is the same for all of them. So you've got 20 feet with 50 pounds per foot, that's a thousand pounds. Here you've got the same span as 20 feet, but you've got a thousand pound point load. Here you've got a thousand pound point load. And here you've got the 20 feet uh, times 50. So if I'm gonna do the math for this, uh, the load here, like we just looked at the, not the load, the moment is WL squared over eight. So small w is gonna be the pounds per foot. So that's 50 times 20 feet squared over eight, that equals 50 times 400 over eight, which equals uh, 20,000 over eight, which equals 20, which rounds out to 2,500. And our units are foot pounds, foot pounds. If we're gonna do the math on this one, that was just PL, remember? So P is the point load, 1,000, and that's pounds, times the distance, 20 feet, equals 20,000 foot pounds. So you see the max moment of this one is 20,000. The max moment of this one's only 2,500. So this one's almost 10 times higher. And one more thing to note, when we're talking about max moments, you can see there's nothing in these formulas that refers to anything about the material or the size of the beam. It's only what the load is on it and uh, where the supports are. So whether this beam was steel or wood um, or concrete, it would have the same max moment. Now we know it's going to deflect different, but that's a different formula that includes stuff like the moment of inertia and, and properties about what the material are. But when you're discussing moments, you can see the material and shape of the beam doesn't matter, just the weight and just the support. If you get on the exam and you have a question where you have to show some knowledge about moments and you don't have those formulas memorized, they give them to you. So go up to References, Structural, click on Structural Formulas, and then they will be the second page, uh, starting second page, they've got a couple um, sheets of them where you have the those same free body diagrams. And actually the one that I printed out earlier was just a screenshot of this one right here. So you can see there's the moment max formula, W squared there. And if you scroll down, you can see a lot of the other uh, common loading conditions that you might experience. But really the point loads and the uh, uniform distributed loads are the most common ones you're gonna see.